हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द बुक एंड नोट्स दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट वन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर थ्री द पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल प्रोवाइड यू द बेस्ट हैंड रिटन नोट्स सो यू आर फर्स्ट एडवाइज टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल लास्ट एंड देन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्सन बॉक्स एंड डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द वीडियो अमंग योर फ्रेंड टू मोटिवेट अस classification of element and periodicity in property in 1800 only 31 elements were known by 1865 the number of identified element had more than doubled to 63 at present 114 elements are known of them recently discovered elements are man made question arises why do we need to classify elements and the answer to this question is with such a large number of element it is very difficult to study the chemistry of all these element individually so to ease out this problem scientists search a systematic way to organize their knowledge by classifying the elements now let us come to the genesis of periodic classification the first one to classify element was dobernier and the classification done by dobernier is also known as dobernier trial The German chemist Johann Dobernier in early 1800 was the first to consider the idea of trend among the property of element. He arranged similar elements in the group of 3 element called triads. In each case, he noticed the atomic mass of the middle element was merely the arithmetic mean of the atomic mass of the other two elements. Now let us come to some of the Dobernier's trial. And the first trial is lithium, sodium, and potassium. Here you can see that the atomic mass of lithium is seven, and the atomic mass of sodium is twenty-three, and the atomic mass of potassium is thirty-nine. And here the mean of the first and the last element, that is seven plus thirty-nine by two, is equals to twenty-three. That is equals to the middle element atomic mass. and similarly you can see the other dobernier style such as calcium strontium and barium chlorine bromine and iodine and potas potassium arsenic and antimony now let us come to the limitation of dobernier style the law of triad seems to be work for a few element not all elements now a cylindrical table of aebd chain quartiers In eighteen hundred and sixty-two, a French geologist, A. E. B. D. Chancortius, arranged the then known elements in order of increasing atomic weight. He made a cylindrical table of element to display the periodic recurrence in property. Now, the limitation of the cylindrical periodic table is that this did not attract much attention, and the pictorial view of this cylindrical table is here. which you can see more clearly in the pdf given in the description box let us come to newland's law of octave in 1865 the english chemist john alexander newland propounded the law of octave he arranged the element in increasing order of their atomic weight and noted that the every eighth element had property similar to the first element Here is the pictorial view of Newland's octave, and here you can see that all the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic weight, and every eight element is has the similar property with the first element. Here the property of lithium, sodium, and potassium are same, and the property of beryllium, magnesium, and calcium are same, and property of barium and aluminium are same, property of calcium, silicon are same, and many more. Now let us come to the limitations of Newland's law of octaves. The law of octave was only ap applicable up to calcium. This means that Newland's law of octave worked well for the lighter elements only and it failed for the heavier element. Now the second limitation is he assumed that 56 element existed in nature but in future more than 56 element uh, came to be present now next limitation is he adjusted 
two element in the same slot example copper and nickel and the last limitation is iron which resembles cobalt and nickel in property is placed away from them now let us come to lothar meyer atomic volume curve the german chemist lothar meyer plotted the graph of physical properties such as atomic volume melting point and boiling point against the atomic weight and obtained the periodically repeated pattern by 1868 lothar meyer has developed a table of element that closely resembles the modern periodic table the element with similar property occupied the similar position on the graph and the graph of lothar meyer was like this graph and this graph consisted of atomic volume versus atomic mass and similar graphs were also presented now let us come to mendeleev periodic table russian chemist dmitry mendeleev in 1869 proposed that on arranging element in the increasing order of the atomic weight similarity appears in physical and chemical property at regular interval point to be noted that among chemical properties he concentrated on the compound formed by element with oxygen and hydrogen only the reason behind this was that oxygen and hydrogen were very reactive and formed compound with most elements this is the mendeleev periodic table and you can see it more clearly on the pdf given in the description box now let us come to mendeleev periodic law according to mendeleev periodic law the properties of the elements are the periodic functions of the of their atomic weights and masses this is very important you have to remember it now let us come to characteristics of mendeleev periodic table and the characteristics of the mendeleev periodic tables were mendeleev arranged element in horizontal rows and vertical columns of table in order of increasing atomic weight in such a way that element with similar property occupied the same vertical column or group the second characteristic was there were eight vertical columns or groups and six horizontal rows or periods and the third characteristics were at few instants mendeleev had placed a element with slightly greater atomic mass before an element with slightly lower atomic mass the reason behind this was elements with similar property could be grouped together some of the example related to this placement was iodine with lower atomic mass than that of tellurium was placed along fluorine chlorine bromine because the similarity in property and another example is that cobalt whose atomic mass is 58.9 appeared before nickel which was 58.7 now the last one is mendeleev boldly predicted the existence of some element that had not been discovered at that time he left some gaps in the periodic table and he named the left undiscovered element by prefixing a sanskrit numeral ekka to the name preceding the element in the same group some of the example are ekka boron which was named for scandium and ekka aluminum was named for gallium and ekka silicon was named for germanium now let us come to the limitation of mendeleev periodic table the first limitation is the position of hydrogen since the position of hydrogen is uncertain but it was placed in the first and seventh group because of the resemblance with both of the groups second limitation is position of isotopes no separate position were given to isotopes the third limitation is anomalous pairs of element order of increasing atomic weight is not strictly followed in mendeleev periodic table and the fourth limitation is placement of unlike element in the same group copper silver and gold are placed in first group along with sodium potassium etc which differs in the property thank you for watching the video and do not forget to like subscribe and share